Okay, everybody can hear you, right? Okay, good. Hey, hey you. Do you have time management problems? How about you? Or you? I know I do. Time management is always a struggle for me. Which we talk about my school, sports, other fun activities in my family, all of which I love. So why do we have this struggle? Not enough time? Do we have to calendar? Do we secretly need all of our time committed? Do we aim for perfection? Maybe you feel overwhelmed or stressed out and want to find ways to do less and enjoy more. Or maybe you simply want to feel more in control of your time. Instead of being rushed from one to the next until you fall in bed, exhausted every night. Benjamin Franklin said, do you love life? Then do not squander time. That is the stuff life is made of. You probably know that effective time management will help you get more done each day. It also has important health benefits. One of the best things we can have is a healthy attitude towards life. Get plenty of sleep, have a healthy diet, and exercise regularly. A healthy lifestyle can improve your focus and concentration, which can help improve your efficiency so you can complete more work in less time. Winston Churchill said, a pessimist sees a difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees an opportunity in every difficulty. That makes me, well, think of my sisters. Do you have siblings? Do you get them the time and patience they need? Well, certainly my family isn't perfect, but I think we all focus on what we want and we're extremely grateful for what we have. We watch movies and enjoy the time we have to. But we also have rules. They can tell we have together and apart workable. Adapted by Avery. How do you control your time and your life is the top 10 tips. Number one, count all your time is time to be used and make every attempt to itself out of every moment. Two, find yourself, find something you enjoy in whatever you do. Three, try to be an optimist and seek out the good in life. Four, find ways to build on your success. Five, stop regretting your failures and start learning from your mistakes. Six, remind yourself there's always that time for the important things. If it's important, you should have that time for it. Seven, continue to look at ways to free up your time. Eight, examine your own habits and search for ways to change or even make. Nine, trying ways of waiting for time, waiting time to review notes or do practice problems. Ten, keep paper or a calendar, jot notes down. I work best with a planner list. Write things down on a piece of paper that you want to accomplish for that day. Then prioritize the list. Sometimes I get the most important tasks done first. So I am fresh and it's easy to take on the other tasks. As I complete my tasks on the list, I cross them off. This shows me I'm making a sense of the problem. I have also found I need to be flexible and be able to for the evening day. Too much of the active in one day leads to lack of sleep and being grumpy in the press. Trust me when I say no one wants to be around me when I am grumpy. It's time to adjust the source of stress in your life by avoiding or altering it. What of you with stress can simply be avoided. Plan ahead, rearrange your surroundings and reap the benefits of life alone. One of the most helpful things you can do during time stress is to take inventory, then attempt to change or alter your situation for the better. For these cases in which the source of your stress can be avoided or altered, 
try to adjust your ability to tolerate it. Sometimes you have no choice but to accept the things the way they are. Those times, try to talk to someone. You'll feel better after talking it out. Forgive. It takes energy to be angry. Practice positive self-talk. It's easy to lose objectivity when you're stressed. What negative thing can lead to another? Leads to another. And what you know, create a mental avalanche. Be positive. And learn from your mistakes. The perception that you can't cope is actually one of the greatest stressors. That's why adapting, which often involves changing your standards or expectations, can be the most helpful in dealing with stress. Do you really need to back in class twice a week? You're not going to choose to be an ubiquitous substitution for lasagna. Imagine all the things that bring you joy in life. Vacation, pets, children. Then fall on this list of new stress. It will put things into perspective and serve as a reminder of all life's joys. Look at the big picture. Ask yourself, will this matter be here in five years? Answer is often enough. Realizing this makes a stressful situation a stressful situation seem less overwhelming. The fear of humor can cure all ailments. Ailments. But data are mounting about the positive things that you can do. Your laugh is great short term effects. When you start to laugh, you don't just bite the bone mentally, you actually induce physical changes in your body. Laughter can stimulate many organs, activate and relieve your stress response. Soothe tension. Laughter isn't just like a pick me up, though. It's good for you in the ball hop. Laughter may improve your immune system, relieve pain, increase personal satisfaction. Humor can be learned. In fact, developing or refining your sense of humor can be easy for you to think. Laughter is the best medicine. Well, I have to give it a try. Turn the corners of your mouth up into a smile and give a laugh. You can be responsible for course. Once you've had your trouble, take stock of how you're feeling. Are your muscles feeling less tense? Do you feel more relaxed? That's the natural moment of laughing at work. Qualities of being optimistic include being patient. Having a go to attitude, giving the challenges a chance, being a good listener and kind person, believing in yourself and in your dreams, and smiling. These qualities, many advantages have come my way and can come your way too. I built a great relationship with my sisters and friends. I'm seeing a positive role model and good person by others. A sense of accomplishment and inner strength will make you feel on top of everything. Through my optimism, I've been able to get babysitting jobs and even volunteer for my community. An American writer and illustrator, Dr. C. Trent, you have your brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You can decide if you want to live an optimistic life. Smile. And remember to embrace the fact that life it's an adventure. Thank you. Any questions? What do you personally find to be the most difficult part of time management? The question was, what do I find the most difficult part of time management? And I would say um, keeping to the list. It's kind of hard sometimes if you want to throw other stuff in there, but you have to stay in the list to keep your plan, to keep your time management on track to make sure you don't, like I said, be grumpy or angry when you have too much in one day and just overwhelming. You want to stay to your task on your list and not overdo it. So don't add other things into your plan of the day. Stick to your list. Any other questions? Thank you.